Hi, this is Sachin Kaur. How are you? Fine. Okay. Dear students, in the last classes we learned regarding the meaning and importance of stopping. Okay. Yes. Then uh, under which we learned regarding that the stopping is the what very essential and very important process of management. Why? Because selecting the right person for the right place is very essential. Okay, selecting the right person for the right place or for the right job is very essential thing. Okay, yes. Among the crowd here, the management select the right person. For that, ultimately one phrase is also there. Okay, what is that means? Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Okay, but not a drop to drink. That means what? We find the water everywhere. But the drinkable water is in the scarce manner. Okay, the drinkable water in the scarce manner or scarce manner. Okay, yes. So, Priya uh, Vidyarthi, today last class, today now we have noted this one. Ah, meaning of that is importance. Today we have noted this. This is the two one. Stopping this. Yes, seven day and eleven day. Meaning of that is that day and importance. Today we have noted this one. स्टापिंग इंपारटेंस नोड़े कन्सेप्ट नोड़ी ऐन ऐन रईट पर्सन फॉर् दि रईट प्लेस अंदर जॉब के सर व्यक्तियों तेज सर प्लेस अथवा सर वर्क के अथवा सर जॉब के सर व्यक्तियों से सो अदी फ्रेज सहित सो अद फ्रेज ऐनबे वाटर वाटर एवरीवेर अभी नोड़ी अल्ली नोड़ी आ कड़े ऐन साकु बट नाट ए ड्रॉप टू ड्रिंक कुछ प्रमाण नोड़े स्केर्सिटी कड़म प्रमाण लाइक वाइज यू फैंड दि लाट आफ दि क्राप्स लाट आफ दि ह्यूमन बीइंग्स लाट आफ दि पीपल बट आ लाट आफ दि ह्यूमन बीइंग्स लाट आफ दि क्रौड्स इंपारटेंटिंग The what are the process of that stop? Okay, what are the process of stopping? Process is one thing, but stages, stages or phases. Okay, yes, these all three words are towards the same things. Okay, yes. So process is nothing but phases. Phases is nothing, nothing but stages. Okay, yes. That means here what? What are the procedures are required for the stopping? For the stopping, yes. Let's see. We'll see that one by one. The, among that, the first stage or time stage is what? Estimating the manpower requirement. Yes. First stage is what? Estimating the manpower requirement. Estimating manpower requirement. That means which type of human beings are required for that work is very essential thing. Okay, is very essential thing. That's why the management estimates that. Management estimates that which type of the employees are required. Which type of the employees are required? Okay, yes. Then uh, this is the very essential thing here, and this is what the first and prime, the stage or phase or process of the stopping. Okay, yes. So what is the stage? Like what I told you, estimating, estimating model. Like estimate. रिक्रूटमेंट 
influencing the human beings or influencing the public or influencing the people to apply for that particular job. Okay, that means here what influencing prospective employees or prospective candidates to apply for that job and stimulating them to apply for that job. Okay, and here what happens? The the job related information is a published. Uh, through the print media or through the multimedia okay so uh, from the etc media the informations or the advertisements are provided to candidates in the second stage okay in the second stage gali enagutta andre illi a candidates gali en nodudu andre influence madudu yes so influence madudu edakke aa job ge en madudu andre apply madlikke matte avaranna en madudu andre stimulate madudu stimulate that means purudumbisudu ಆ ಜಾಬ್ಗೆ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಇದು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಕ್ರೂಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ದಿ ಟಾಪ್ ಅಡ್ವರ್ಟೈಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಟಾಪ್ ಅಡ್ವರ್ಟೈಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಅಡ್ವರ್ಟೈಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಕೊಡುವ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಅಡ್ವರ್ಟೈಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲೂ ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಅಂದರೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗಜೀನ್ಸ್ ಜರ್ನಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿ ಅವುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮಲ್ಟಿಮೀಡಿಯಾಸ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಅಡ್ವರ್ಟೈಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಯರ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ the the candidates that means the right candidates are selected for the right job through the various test or various the selection modes okay from the various selection modes that that may be uh, direct interview okay whatever that may be your the uh, candidates are selected in the third stage okay so third stage dali enagutha candidates gulu en maadu candidates gulu en maadalagutha andre ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಲಾಗುತ್ತ ಎದಕ್ಕೆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಜಾಬ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಥ್ರೂ ಎದ್ರ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಅಂದರೆ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ಗಳು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆಪ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಆ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ಗಳ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಇತರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೋಡ್ಗಳ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಗಳನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳಾಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯೀಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡಲಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ the next for placement and orientation yes after the selection the candidates are placed for the particular work place yes. after the selection the candidates are placed to their particular work place and here another one is that word another one word is that is a orientation orientation means what the candidate candidate is introduced to is a subordinates and his superiors okay the candidates to be introduced to whom to his subordinates as well as to his superiors okay that is called a what orientation that is called a what orientation yes so ille uh, for the stage the lena gatta the placement and orientation of the we after the selection ರೈಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆತನ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅವನು ಏನು ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇದೆ ಆ ವರ್ಕ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಅವನಿಗೆ ಒಪ್ಪಿಸೋದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಗೆ ಅವನ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗುದು ಸೊ ಕೆರ್ ಟು ಯು ವರ್ಕ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯುರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ದಟ್ ಜಾಬ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಓರಿಯೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ಓರಿಯೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ that the employee should be introduced to whom his subordinates as well as his superiors okay avana subordinates ge matte avana superior ge avananna parichaya maadi kodalagutta that is called orientation that is called what? orientation okay yes then uh, that is what the fourth step the next step training and development yes, yes. so this one stage is also very essential step or very essential phase for that the selection process okay or for it is fully uh, very essential for the organization also organization also okay why because if the organization wants to 
predict the better performance the automation if the automation wants to predict what the better performance it how to have train the its workers okay as yes, the automation provides the training and development facility for their workers then only they can work in the efficient manner then if the workers work in the efficient manner ultimately the performance of the organization should be an answer okay the performance of the that that performance of that automation should be what an answer that is the very essential thing okay yes after the placement and orientation the organization how to have provide the training training facility to whom to the workers training and development facility to whom to the workers okay yes that is what the fifth step of fifth stage the next is in the sixth stage what happens say performance appraisal yes this is also very essential thing and the another one important stage or phase of that the staffing process okay yes see uh, what happens in the placement and orientation the actual work should be assigned to that particular workers yes then afterwards the some trainings or some skilled trainings are provided to that particular workers and afterwards what happens he work in the better manner or he, he may work in the efficient manner okay he may work in the efficient manner for that efficient work the management have to have price here why because the performance appraisal is very essential thing to know the what the improvement in that particular employee okay yes what are what are the improvements in that particular employees okay so that is happening in the sixth stage okay yes if the uh, worker shows the efficient performance for that the rewards are given okay for that the rewards are given that is uh, happen in the sixth stage the next seventh stage promotion and career planning yes promotion and career planning after the performance appraisal the employees or the best performing employees are promoted for the higher job the best performing employees are promoted for higher jobs okay yes that is all. that is the question about that the careers of that the employees also okay yes that is related with what the issues of careers of the employees yes if the better performance showing then promote them okay so that is happen in the the seventh stage of the staffing okay yes then the last step or last stage is what compensation yes compensation is also a very essential thing here okay yes so the management or the business organization how to have provides the what the compensation or salary or wages to their workers okay Why? Because the employees or the workers are working for the salaries or wages. Okay, so that is the main reason. So they are not working the just because of the any love or any sympathy. Yes. Now here they are working for the the wages or or for the salary. Okay, that's why the management have to provide the what the salary or wages. That is called the what the compensation and uh, the compensation may be. in the two manner okay so which are there that means first one is direct finance yes so that may that may be compensation uh, in the that compensation should be made in the two ways or in the two modes okay uh, there are two modes of payments are there or there were two modes of compensation are there the, among that the first one is what direct finance that means the direct Finance is given to the home, to the employee, or to the workers in the form of cash. Okay, in the form of cash, bonus, incentives, commissions. Okay, it is. And next one is the second non-finance mode or indirect, indirect finance, finance mode. Okay. indirect finance mode then sir what are the indirect finance mode that means the occasion facilities are provided okay some other perquisites are provided okay to whom to the workers these are the two modes are available in the compensation 
okay yes. then uh, these are what they breathe about the stages or phases or the process or procedures of stopping then uh, dear students if you have any doubts regarding this please comment on the same i will clarify that okay thank you